All right. Hello, my name is Chris Kyle. Um, I am the high school uh, computer science teacher at Osage High School. Um, I also teach a couple upper level math classes. Um, and today I'm going to talk to you about the application I'm going to use, which is Soft Chalk Cloud. Um, I'm currently recording this using Screencastify. Um, I've used lots of different uh, screencasting things before. Uh, most of the time when I'm teaching, um, I record my lessons through our smart board um, and I use QuickTime. A lot of times for my students, they, they thought the quality of those videos were a little bit higher than Screencastify. Um, but one drawback to QuickTime is the size of the files. Uh, it's a very large file. Uh, you're talking hundreds of megabytes, whereas Screencastify does a nice job of getting the point across, um, allowing you to share video, and at the same time, saving it directly to your drive, whereas with QuickTime, you have to do a lot of extra stuff. So that's why I chose to use Screencastify today. Um, so with Soft Chalk Cloud, I've downloaded it. Um, I've looked at it a little bit. I haven't played around with it before. Um, I've taken another class, um, the designer, or, course design class with Evan before and saw you use a lot of soft chalk cloud. Um, and I'm really trying to, I'm actually working on for my Moodle. I'm going to do our, my game design class that I have new this year. And I'm trying to actually build this. So it'll be a hundred percent self-paced course next year. Um, about a third of my kids taking game design right now are doing it as an independent study. Usually when I'm teaching another class, uh, so the goal is that I can actually make this a self-paced course. So that way, if a kid needs to or wants to take it as an independent study, they have more access to that. Um, just trying to give our kids as many options as we can. Um, when it comes to Soft Chalk Cloud, uh, I've opened the interface uh, and I'll pull that up for you. looks a lot like a Google Doc. Um, the nice thing is from the few tutorials I've seen, uh, any formatting you have on Google Docs will show up here. Um, from what I've seen, it's fairly easy to get started to do, but I know um, from watching some of Evan's videos and other things that um, getting it to work out exactly the way you want is a little more complicated than that. I've also seen that quite a few other people from Osage are choosing to use Soft Chalk Cloud. Um, and like I said, my goal with this is to create some lessons to help my kids, especially early on. Um, when I'm making them, when I'm having them read uh, the books to show some connections between the books and designing of games, um, especially in this first unit with history of games, we'll be doing a lot of diving into previous uh, how games, what makes a good game, that kind of thing. So there's a lot more teaching there. Uh, in that unit. Uh, also, it'll show up again quite a bit in our Scratch unit. Um, and I know some other teachers at Osage use Scratch as well. It's a nice programming thing. Um, I'll create some soft chalk clouds for this as well to help kids understand how to create and develop games. Um, and then another place I plan on using soft chalk cloud is when I start to define game engines and give our kids the option of some different game engines that they have and where they can get those. Um, like I said, I know there's quite a few other people uh, from Osage in particular, but as well as in this course that are doing Soft Chalk Cloud. And I would love to learn and, along with you. So if you have any questions or would like to get in contact with me, please do. Again, this is Chris Kyle, um, high school computer science teacher at Osage. And I'm going to be designing lessons for my game design course that I teach for our high school kids. Thank you.